My name is Joe Selesky. I'm the CEO of ClareMail. David Thompson, our VP of Marketing, is going to be doing the presentation. There will be no PowerPoint slides in this presentation whatsoever. We thought it would make a lot of sense since we're talking about mobile that it actually be done all the way through on a mobile device. Uh, but, but you know, as we get the Elmo uh, on screen, you know, a little bit about ClareMail. We're the only system today that can be deployed either on-premise or as a managed service that supports the triple play. So that's SMS, mobile web, or native client. And including with that platform is the ability to do actionable alerting. So we actually also can provide an alerting engine that really makes the mobile phone a channel for two-way customer interaction, both the customer to the institution and the institution to the customer. And our customers are predominantly from the banking and credit card and financial services world. So David's got a mobile phone here. We're obviously live and wireless. So if we have any glitching here in the, uh, the demonstration, you'll know that it's just that wonderful, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Um, so in moving forward, you know, the first thing, David just uh, received a, an actionable alert. You can see I had uh, something to eat at the Carnegie Deli. Pretty impressive when you can actually have $148.15 charge at the Carnegie Deli. So again, this is the eventing system at the bank, in this case Falcon, sending me an actionable alert instead of stopping my card, we've all experienced that, or calling me and trying to reach me on my home phone. So obviously that saves the, the bank the cost of that customer interaction and saves me the hassle of either a inbound phone call at $14 a call or an outbound you know, phone call from the bank trying to verify a transaction. So you know, one of the cases that you'll see is, uh, oh, David's uh, you know, phone is here, it, we're going to well, I'm waiting for his alert to come in. Uh, so again, the two-way capabilities, it's not just about you checking your bank balance, it's also about the bank checking in with you. We just saw transaction verification, and now what we should see is a, you know, an alert for a bill being due. Um, and really, again, you start to think about this. This is both for on-us payments, like the credit card bill at you know, I happen to bank with Wells Fargo, so my credit card at Wells Fargo. It, oh, there we go. So credit card is due. Um, that can be on us payments or a form of mobile lockbox, where this could be payments from other providers. But before I actually say yes to make that payment, and by the way, this is a lot different than the other bill pay scenarios you've seen. This is not me remembering to pay my bill. It's much more my phone, you know, coming, the message coming to me saying, hey, pay me now, right? So. Before I actually pay that bill, I might want to inquire otherwise, right? I might want to you know, check my balances. So David just sent a text message. You could see he just sent to the short code for my bank, and he got within two seconds back his, uh, his text of the fact that he had money in the checking account. Or in, actually, in this case, there wasn't that much money in my checking account, so he's going to make a transfer to make this payment. So again, not only is the mobile phone a channel for reaching out to the customer, you know, the one thing the bank hasn't had in the past 25 years, the ability to ask the customer a yes, no question in a transparent way, but also when I get that question, the ability to act. In this case, check my balances, transfer funds, and now go back and pay that bill. So there we go. So, so you really start to look at, you know, what is this all about? This is really all about that mobile phone being a channel for two-way customer interaction. Um, if you had noticed in that last uh, message, uh, there was also an ad presented to me, in this case for a zero-interest credit card. Uh, so if, you know, in, so, hmm, think about that. Every time you have a customer interaction, you know, the ability for the customer to say yes, not just in the case of the bill payment, but also the interest in that promotion. So David's uh, paid it, and we are now, well, oh, here we go, doing the payment. And now we're saying, you know, basically call me. So he's basically opted in for the promotion. So here you've paid the bill. You could opt in, say, hmm, I'm interested, and it you know, will then put me in the call queue. Okay, so think of this as an end to hold. When I say call me, it puts me in the call queue. You know, has anybody here waited on hold on the mobile phone? And uh, at that point, you know, his call me is putting me in the call queue, and now the bank is going to call me. The message he'll get back is classically, hey, somebody will call you, you know, in X number of minutes if it was waiting in the, in the queue. So 
We've just showed you SMS, you know, and, and obviously the inbox and the address book are two primary contexts on the mobile device. But, oh, thank you, David. So we said call me, right? So they'll probably call me. The, uh, the next piece we think you should show is, is also the fact that you might have gotten a message on your mobile phone and you might want to kick off a mobile web interaction. So as I said, we're a, a platform that supports the triple play, right? SMS, mobile web, and native client for that two-way capability. So here, David's just received a low balance alert. Instead of David going you know, out to his mobile browser and into a bookmark and having to enter username and password, instead, David's just replied to that message, go. So what we do in that case is this is instead of username and password, go is now telling the server to help David log in to the mobile web. So what David will get back is a message that basically is in lieu of username. So he clicks on that dynamic link. This is performing the equivalent of a dial back in banking. And at that point, he's going to initiate the mobile web application. So we'll see how good Verizon's coverage is here. By the way, you'll notice you know, SMS goes through you know, what, we're probably 18 feet underground. You know, it'll tend to get to you even when you're on the phone, even when you're in the air. Um, so good news, Verizon is working from here. David's actually just providing his password. An important thing to note, no username password pair being entered in. This is more secure than the online login to online banking. It started with a dial back and message to a known place. You know, this is the way treasury systems used to work. And now David's gone in. He's decided he's going to do a transfer to, to, over to Sue, <laughs> given that she's got a low balance. He's not going to give her too much. <laughs> so, and so now what you've seen is David has you know, literally gone into the app, gone to the transfer screen, and now completed a transfer. Important about ClareMail is that we also cross over between things. So not only has David completed the transaction in the mobile web, started by the SMS, it doesn't have to be started by the SMS, but he also is going to get his receipt as a print to SMS function. So again, you know, that same device you know, and that same transaction using the capabilities of the device to improve the customer interaction. So, you know, again, you start to really look at the fact that he can transfer between accounts, you know, in more than one way, you know, either nicknaming that transfer to, to affect a transfer, or in this case, to launch the mobile web app. Now, I'd also mention the ability for you to support native client. There will be an announcement coming out soon that we can support native client by one of the premier native client providers. Oh, I've got a phone call. Surprising. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. I have all of your account information here in front of me. As a special promotion for preferred customers like you, they're offering a no annual fee, 0% credit card. Thank you very much. I'm right in the middle of a presentation. If you could actually give me a call back in 10 minutes, that would be great. Okay, will do. So again, what you just saw in a very, very short window of time were 14 use cases across three different platforms, both inbound and outbound. And as David said, I'd have it exactly a minute left. So really what, what I want to do as we finish up is really reinforce the fact that mobile isn't about just you waking up remembering to contact your bank. You know, it really is the opportunity. It's always on you. you know, it is the ability for the institution to reach out to you, whether that's to reach out to you to just see if you want to pay that bill. You know, think about it. Most of us are actually using our mobile phone right now as a alarm clock. Anybody here set their mobile phone last night um, to wake them up? So wouldn't it be nice if it also woke you up for other things, whether that's a questionable transaction on your credit card or that's a bill that's due, or a low balance, really reaching out to you so that you can act. And I really think that that's where tremendous power is. I was asked at Nacho yesterday or last week, though, is mo what's what's the unique thing about mobile? And I think mobile is a channel, but I think you'll also find it's also a platform, a platform for people's creativity on the way that we can enhance customer interaction really engage somebody. And I think you know when you really look at banking and financial services over the past 25 years, we've done amazing things to increase the ability for people to access the institution securely and to access funds. 
but we've done very little to make it easy for the institution to reach out to the customer and ask them that yes, no question. You know, I think paying your PG&E bill or paying other bills, obviously something that we all do every day, and the mobile phone now has the ability to help us do it. Thank you very much. Thank you.